Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I would like to share some progress on what I'm affectionately calling the never-ending project. I've been working on and off of this project for coming up to two years now, and the diorama has been constantly evolving. Since I only started out with a loose idea of what I wanted to achieve, I have been able to add parts to the diorama on the fly, and experiment with pieces to see what works. Over the past year I have decided to expand the Emperor's throne room retinue, and have painted up and added a host of miniatures from the early 2000s 40k Inquisitor range. I found that a lot of these characters had a standing pose and aesthetic that fit the diorama well. At this stage I am just about finished with painting all the inquisitorial additions to the diorama, and just have the Custodes and Mechanicus elements left to paint. To prevent large gaps in between where the miniatures are stationed, there are going to be a couple of servo skulls whizzing about the throne room. These will help the throne room appear less static, and make the scene appear more busy. I have had a lot of enjoyment from painting up all the individual Inquisitor models, as they have so much character. Some have definitely been more difficult to finish than others, and some have even been stripped down and repainted when I was not happy with the way they looked. Trying to get my miniatures to a stage I'm happy with has been a difficult part of this build, as I've always tried to make my miniatures the best they can be. I have really had to restrain myself at certain points of the painting process, as my search for perfection would sometimes lead me to repainting parts of models and making them look worse. As I start to paint through what is essentially the final elements of the diorama, I have managed to find more of a rhythm and not be so critical about my own work. I take regular breaks and put models to one side when I feel they are not coming out the way I want them to. One of the things I'd like to touch upon is lore accuracy. When I was constructing this piece, I kind of knew it wasn't going to be 100% lore accurate. The probable reality is that the throne room of the Emperor of Mankind would be monstrously large and ornate. Unfortunately, due to both time and space, trying to recreate something of that scale and magnitude would not be plausible. As I mentioned in a previous video, I went for more of a grim dark tone in reference to John Blanche's artwork. I felt that elements such as a more grimy throne room and the Emperor hidden under robes would give the impression of just how much the Imperial lie was being perpetuated. Rule of Cool has definitely been something I've implemented in the project, as sometimes a rigid adherence to lore can make for a work that's a little boring to both produce and look at. The great thing about Warhammer 40,000, with its lore and mythos, is that it gives you the ability to develop your own interpretation of how things should look. With the Imperium being so immeasurably vast, it's not a stretch to think of how information is changed and manipulated to fit different narratives. This makes the idea of any sort of truth unreliable. Although I have almost every miniature I need for this project, I still need to find a suitable Adeptus Mechanicus tech priest to add to the project. Many people over on Instagram have rightfully pointed out the distinct lack of a tech priest, and I aim to change that. Currently I'm eyeing up a tech priest from Forge World's Mechanicum range. The miniature is posed nicely, and definitely has an air of grimdark about him. I would have liked to have had a couple more cherubs included as part of the build, as I feel they're a staple of 3rd edition 40k art, and lend themselves to the diorama nicely. Once I've completed the last few models, I will double check to see if there's anything else I would like to add before I permanently affix the miniatures to their positions. One of the unforeseen results of painting this diorama over a long period of time is how differently the models turned out to the way I anticipated. When it came to painting each member of the throne room retinue, I decided to forego washes and paint the miniatures in a slightly brighter tone. This has led to a subtle difference between how the Inquisition models look compared to the Emperor. I think that this change of style adds to the storytelling of the diorama, and visually insinuates that the Emperor is no longer entirely in control of the Imperium, leading to lesser men making the decisions. As I move forward to the final stretch of this diorama, I look forward to showing you all the finished piece in the third and final video. We are approaching 4000 followers over on Instagram, at which stage I'll be doing another giveaway. If you're interested in following the final steps of this build before I move on to the next project, please consider subscribing and liking the video. A big thank you to Longbow Gaming for supporting this content. Please check out their website for up to 25% off. 
Link in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.